I shall see the king where the angels sing. I shall see the king someday. In the better land on the golden strand, and with him shall ever stay. In his glory I shall see the king, and forever endless praises sing. Twas on Calvary Jesus died for me. I shall see the King someday. I shall see the King all my tributes bring and shall look upon his face. Then my song shall be how he ransomed me and has kept me by his grace. In his glory I shall see the King and forever endless praises sing. T'was on Calvary Jesus died for me. I shall see the King today presents a story of faith in action with pastor and mrs. William a Fagan Welcome to an unusual program today made up of lovely and inspiring music to be presented by our quartet. You know, when Jesus was here upon this earth, he showed special concern for those who knew the deadly power and the awesome weight of unforgiven sin. To relieve their heavy burdens, he invited all to come to him and find the freedom from guilt which he alone can give. Come to me, he urged all whose work is hard, whose load is heavy, and I will give you relief. Bend your necks to my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble-hearted, and your souls will find relief. For my yoke is good to bear, my load is light.
makes the comforter tenderly saying, Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot cure. thousands of years, men had tried unsuccessfully to lead lives of victory over sin. And their failure had finally brought some to despair. The task is impossible, they said. What was desperately needed was a divine and yet human revelation of the sinlessness and perfection of heaven. God had always intended to send a savior and Jesus had offered himself to be our substitute the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Now, he might have simply come and died on the cross, but he did more than that. He lived a perfect life among men, thus setting for us an eternal example. In love for erring man, God sent his own son to this world, and in doing so caused the whole universe to wonder. I wonder as I wander out under the sky How Jesus the Savior did come for to die For poor ornery people like you and like I I wonder as I wander
though men but dimly envisioned what Christ's advent to earth meant. God made sure that they'd know that it was a happy, joyous occasion for the universe. Angels announced his birth in heavenly strains, heard by lowly but devout shepherds in Galilean fields. The angels considered the birth of Christ to be just cause for giving glory to God in the highest and declaring that Jesus would bring peace on earth to men of goodwill. Angels we have heard on high sweetly singing o'er the plains and the mountains in And though their understanding of Christ's advent to earth was as yet limited, men responded by giving praise to God for the gift of his son to this earth. With our better understanding, our praise should be greater by far. While I my sheep did watch one night, Lo, there appeared an angel bright, oh, sing for joy, sing for joy, 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 praise be to God in heaven on high, praise be to God in child in manger small, whom God has said to save us all. Oh, sing for joy, sing for joy, 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 joy. Praise be to God in heaven on high, praise be to God in has been sent from God above. He brings to man the gift of love. Oh, sing for joy, sing for joy. Joy, 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 joy. Praise be to God in heaven on high. Praise be to God in
God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, that everyone who has faith in him may not die, but have eternal life. It was not to judge the world that God sent his son into the world, but that through him the world might be saved. What an amazing thing has been accomplished in our redemption from sin. Because of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done, many a man today can exclaim, I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now The first coming of Jesus Christ to this earth has provided the means whereby a man may be free from his sins. But the Lord Jesus will do yet a further work for him at his second advent to this earth. For then he will remove him from all of earth's negative and unhappy experiences. At that time he will wipe every tear from their eyes. There shall be an end to death and to mourning and crying and pain for the old order has passed away. There'll be no dark valley when Jesus comes. There'll be no dark valley when Jesus comes. There'll be no dark valley when Jesus comes to gather his loved ones home. To gather his loved ones home. Say home to gather home. There'll be no dark valley when Jesus comes to gather his loved ones home. There'll be songs of greeting when Jesus comes. There'll be songs of greeting when Jesus comes. And a joyful meeting when Jesus comes to gather his loved ones home to gather his loved ones home Say home to gather his loved ones home there'll be no dark valley when jesus comes to gather his loved ones home What will it be like to actually see our Savior face to face? We Christians have talked about him for so long. The Bible pictures the redeemed as looking up into heaven and saying, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him and he will save us. 
Will you be able to welcome him because you're ready for his coming? Face to face with Christ my Savior. Face to face, what will it be? When with rapture I behold him, Jesus Christ who died for me. Shall I behold him far beyond the starry sky? Face to face in all his glory, I shall see him by and by. So blissful moment, face to face to see and know, face to face with my Redeemer, Jesus Christ, who loves me so. Shall I behold him far beyond the starry sky? Face to face in all his glory, I shall see him by and by. That song is one of the great favorites of Christendom, and for good reason. I've heard it sung ever since I was a child, but never tire of it. What a wonderful experience it will be to see Jesus face to face. And this will be the experience of all of us who are prepared for his coming. And how do we prepare? By accepting the Lord Jesus as our Savior, as this book tells us to do and by relating ourselves obediently to his precepts. Now, what place does the Bible have in your life? Honestly, now, does it have a very important place? Do you read it often? And are you eagerly searching for God's will for your life? We hope you can answer yes to all these questions. However, you may be among the many who know little about the scriptures, but who would like to know more. Whether you are in that class or whether you are already a seasoned Bible student, we are glad to direct you to a means we have of helping you. You know, we've prepared a series of free Bible study guides which will be invaluable to you in your search for a foundation for your faith. Friends, why don't you give our Bible lessons a chance in your life? Thousands of people have written us telling us of the spiritual growth and development which has come to them as the result of studying our free Bible study guides. We've really prepared them with you in mind, and we want you to have the benefit of them. As soon as you write, we send the first lesson, and more lessons follow as you progress. So sit down right now and write us, saying something as simple as, please send me your free Bible study guides. He'll be glad you did. Here's our address, Faith for Today, Box 8, New York 8. That's Faith for Today, Box 8, New York 8. And friends, when you write, we have a truly wonderful gift book which we would like you to request. It's this brand new book by my husband entitled, By Faith I Live. This book, in popular paperback style, is very readable, and I think you'll find it extremely interesting. My husband has written it to include many stories of his own experiences. He's told of the development of his own faith, the faith by which we live. Many of your questions on important subjects will be answered. For instance, the question of death and the resurrection is thoroughly discussed in this book, and also the Christian's relationships to God's law and the Sabbath. 
the tremendous theme of the second coming of Jesus is presented in an understandable and thrilling way. And the reasons are given as to why we believe that Jesus is coming again soon. This book is a must for every one of our friends. It's the largest book we've ever offered on this program. We are happy to make it available to you free of charge. Simply ask for the book by name, By Faith I Live, and address your request to Faith for Today, Box 8, New York 8. And now our quartet brings our visit with you to a close as they sing the confident hymn, Heaven is My Home. I'm but a stranger here, heaven is my home. Earth is a desert drear, heaven is my home. Danger and sorrow and run me on every Oh. 